Morning, Michigan. Happy Thursday. It is October 23rd, 2025. I'm Chief Muralis, Joel Fritzma. Let's go ahead and dive right into the daily slash weekly headlines coming up here in the state of Michigan. Three of them today. First one up, lake effect rain and snow is continuing. Now for most of the state, it's primarily rain for probably about 98% of the state. But in the western UP right now, in those upper elevations, there is some rain mixing to snow. Now with the ground being really warm right now, it's not sticking around. However, you'll see in just a moment or two, the accumulation uh, projections for the UP could be very minor in some of those spots. Also coming up, fall continues parade of 50s ongoing. Uh, this goes for pretty much the entire state. Up in the UP, mainly 40s, uh, high 40s there, even some mid 40s, especially over the next two to three days. But then as we move into the weekend time frame and starting into next week, that's when we start to see those 50s kind of stay put and not really go up or down a whole lot. Of course, colder mornings are in store as well. So that does include some frost. Now, we are still watching Halloween. If you checked our page a couple days ago, we mentioned that there could be a system right around the four days or just on Halloween itself. It's kind of been shifting around a little bit. Um, we are still watching it right now. There's still a lot of uncertainty as to timing and the impacts. As it currently stands, looking at the long range models, and you'll see us here in just a second where the positioning is going to be. Um, it does look like it's just going to be a rainfall event, so a lot of much needed rain, especially with the drought that we have ongoing here in the state. So we're keeping an eye on it, but right now we can't give you any uh, specific timing and details yet until we really get into next week. Today, though, there is your current conditions for the state. This is what to expect out there. As you can see, a lot of rain fall symbols out there as our lake effect rain does continue today. It's starting to wrap up a little bit as we get into the evening hours. Uh, but it will be pretty relevant, uh, pr pretty relevant, I should say, across the uh, western UP today, and of course West Michigan, where you know you're closest to Lake Michigan. So keep that in mind. Temperatures all across the state in the high 40s: 48 Grand Rapids, 49 Lansing, 48 up in Gladwin, over to Prescott, and even up towards Oscoda there, 49 degrees down here in Southeast Michigan. Could see a 50 squeak out there in Detroit. And as we move back up here into the UP, some temperatures may not even get out of the high 30s for those upper elevations that I mentioned. So 39 there in Ewan, Bruce Corner, and of course up there towards Houghton as well. Moving on to our snowfall forecast, as we uh, move into today and into through, or I say through 7 a.m. tomorrow, uh, this is what we're expecting. Uh, not a whole lot, but again, as I mentioned, the ground being so warm, it's gonna be hard to get those accumulations out here, but you can see around maybe a 10th of an inch possible across those Western UP ranges. Uh, especially Iron River over towards Ewan and even up here towards Iron One off kind of by where my nose is located there. And of course, some of those higher elevations squeak over into Marquette County and even Alger County there. So near Munising, where we could also see up to maybe two tenths of an inch of snow there. And you can't really see it unless you really zoom in, but there is a tiny speck of white there just to the west of Gaylord where you have a little bit of terrain influence. And we may squeak out maybe a trace of snow for the Gaylord uh, Elmira area there in Otsego County. Now, as I mentioned, frost is possible over the next couple mornings. Uh, we do have to take that into account, especially with the wind chills out there. Uh, these wind chills are very, very cold. It's going to feel like winter out there, especially if you're up there in the UP. So this is going to be this morning. Spirit currently experiencing temperatures in the low 30s, maybe even down into the 20s. But tomorrow morning here, Friday, the 24th, temperatures may be lower than 28 degrees for your wind chills, whereas across the entire lower peninsula, maybe around freezing, 33, 32 degrees. And of course, if you're over there by Lake Michigan, lower than 38. Now, again, as a reminder, the lakes are warmer than our inland temperatures right now. So it's kind of like an insulator for those lakeshore areas. Uh, you reverse that for the summertime uh, because the inland areas are much warmer during the summertime versus you know the wintertime. So keep that in mind. Frost is possible over the next two mornings, and especially with those wind chills being down near freezing, uh, that is the feels like temperature, so that is, the that is the temperature that your body is accustomed to. Radar for today, so loop it through here. This is going to be through 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 a.m. It's basically the same radar loop for the next 24 hours here, starting at 7 a.m. today, going through 7 a.m. tomorrow. One thing to take note, there's your snow up there, lake effect snow kind of mixing into the western UP. Otherwise, any areas you see in green here are those uh, lake effect bands that are streaming down that are producing just rain. So keep that in mind. A lot of lake effect rain across southwest Michigan, up here towards the Traverse City area, and of course, central UP, Munising, Christmas, and over towards Grand Marais. 
Long range, this is what we're looking at for the two major uh, models in terms of the GFS and the Euro runs. This is what we call the anomalies in, the, in, our, height, in our heights. So this is usually where we see a lot colder temperatures, uh, low pressure sinking in. And this is around the October 29th timeframe. As it currently stands though, we are looking at our long range forecast. It looks like it's gonna be a little too warm still for snow to mix in. Of course that can change. That is still about six to seven days away. So keep that in mind, low pressure moving in and it's consistent across the Euro and the GFS run here. So again, we have to keep an eye on that. And of course you can also see down here on the Euro run way down here in the corner, that is uh, one of the current tropical systems down there in Cuba. And that is expected to actually sit down there in Cuba for the next week because of a uh, lack of shear in the atmosphere. So uh, keep that in mind. I see the GFS doesn't have it, but the Euro still does. So keep that in mind if you are traveling down into the Caribbean over the next seven days, some tropical weather is still possible since we are still in hurricane season. Ending it with our three day weekend forecast here. This is for the average across the lower peninsula. 49 degrees is gonna be the average temperature for most areas. Uh, varying by about three to four degrees up and down, um, primarily down. The highest temp I saw for tomorrow, Friday, is 50 to 51. That's going to be down by the border. 30% chance of rain as those lake effect showers continue to wrap up. Move over into Saturday. Clouds starting to clear out, partly cloudy sky. It's going to be a nice day for some college football out there. Again, 51 and 54 with the clouds basically clearing out for the entirety of Sunday. It's going to be a little bit cloudy to start, but as we get into the afternoon, those clouds should be pretty much gone uh, according to our models. Upper Peninsula, kind of the same story, a little bit colder, 44 degrees is your average temp for tomorrow, 20% chance of rain. They move into Saturday, 50 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Same story for Sunday, start off with a little bit of cloud cover in the morning, moving into pretty much all sunshine by the afternoon. Couple of clouds maybe rolling off the lakes, still possible, but overall the average condition across the UP on Sunday, as well as the Lower Peninsula will be sunny skies. With that being said, that is all we have today. The today's sponsor here, as I move out of the way, is McKay Tree Specialist. You can check them out. Call them today for an appointment for all of your tree care needs, 248-308-7308. That is based out of Southeast Michigan. With that being said, I am Chief Morales Joel Fritzma signing off for today. We hope you have a good one. Stay warm out there, and we'll talk to you soon for another daily forecast video.